good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on compressors today we are going to discuss the single stage compressor and uh, multi stage compressor uh, and what is the difference between these two and uh, which is more uh, useful to us let us first discuss the single stage compressor or single stage compression single stage compressor means uh, there is only one cylinder and one piston uh, clearance volume top dead center and bottom dead center the pressure ratio with the help of single stage compressor is only limited to 7 the pressure ratio is limited to 7 bar the pressure ratio is only 7 so greater expansion of air because highly compressed air is available in the clearance volume when we go for high pressure ratio for example we go for when we go for high pressure ratio more amount of air is available in the clearance volume which is under high pressure so this air is expanded first so that means greater expansion of air so this greater expansion of air is possible because when we go for high pressures so the air pressure inside the clearance volume is very very high so the greater is the expansion of the air so what happen if expansion is more what happen the volumetric efficiency is reduced because if expansion is more so the suction effect is reduced because if expansion is more so when the piston almost uh, uh, piston is moving from here to here the gas is the air is expanding the air is continuously expanding so after expanding only you know the suction effect started so that means uh, the effective shift volume is reduced for suction stroke so automatically suction effect reduced so volume of air entering into the cylinder is reduced and volumetric efficiency is reduced if p2 is more the fourth point if pressure exit pressure is more temperature is more if we want to go for high pressure temperature of the air is going to be more if temperature is more specific volume of air in the cylinder increases specific volume is going to increase if specific volume increases compression work increases so compression work that means to get the high pressures we need to supply more amount of work input when compared with multi stage you need to supply more amount of work input that is the point so that is the disadvantage is here for high pressure uh, strong and heavy working parts of the compressor will be needed for high pressures there is only one cylinder is there i need to compress the air to a high pressure so the you know crankshaft piston connecting rod all parts of the engine are going to be very strong and very heavy so heavy that means large parts i need to incorporate to get high pressure ratios so that is a loss and more unbalance if large parts are there it more will be the unbalance and more torque fluctuations torque fluctuations is more so to un- balance these two require heavier fly wheel installation so we need to go for heavier fly wheel size heavier size of fly wheel we need to install all the above problems can be reduced to can be reduced to, to minimum level with multi stage compression we will see what is multi stage compression so this is the multi stage compression so this is the low pressure compressor that means uh, uh, compressing the air in two three more than two stages maybe more maybe two stage maybe three stage sometime maybe three stages also mostly it is two stage low pr- lp low pressure compressor hp compressor high pressure compressor this is the inlet valve this is the delivery valve this is the inlet valve and delivery valve the inlet valve of the hp compressor is connected to the delivery valve of the lp compressor low pressure compressor this itself we can understand what is actually happening after compressing primarily in the pre- low pressure compressor we are sending to the high pressure compressor where further compression takes place and it will increase the pressure further so in between what we are doing you know we are placing some intercooler inter covo le intercooler so through which we are supplying the cooling water so whatever the heat that is available in the air which is coming from the low pressure compressor of course it is having some temperature more temperature than atmosphere that heat is transferred to the water and this air get cooled this cooled air under high pressure is supplied to the high pressure compressor intercooler is a constant pressure device the pressure is constant but temperature is reduced by transferring the heat to the cooling water so once it become low temperature with high pressure it is entering into the high pressure compressor it will compress further and send the very very high pressure to the Uh, uh container or where, wherever we need through the delivery valve so the gas can be compressed to a sufficiently high pressure here you can compress the gas or air to a sufficiently high pressure 
so cooling of air is more so efficient with intercooler so cooling is more efficient here with the help of intercooler by cooling the air between the stages the compression can brought to isothermal and power input is reduced already in the last classes we have seen isothermal compression is the minimum work input compression so if you want to compress the air with the minimum work input we need to compress the air with isothermal compression so isothermal so that means temperature is remains constant so by cooling the air between the stages with the help of intercooler the compression can be brought to isothermal so once the compression is isothermal power input is very very less power input is reduced next by multi stage the pressure ratio of each stage is lowered by multi stage that means for example one to two stage this one if you go for three stage see the multi stage the pressure ratio of each stage is lowered so pressure ratio of each stage is lowered that means uh, thus the air leakage past the piston in the cylinder is reduced that means for example if it is a single cylinder if i want to generate some 16 bar with the help of single cylinder so the pressure here is very very high so the leakage between the past the cylinder is very very high so but if i want to compress 16 bar with the help of multi cylinder first uh, i will compress from 1 to 4 bar then 4 bar to 4 bar to 4 bar to 16 bar easily so that means the pressure ratio is 1 4 by 1 4 16 by 4 it is also 4 so the pressure ratio is very less so automatically the escape of the gas from the past the piston is very very less so that is the point here thus the air leakage past the piston in the cylinder is reduced more balance more uniform torque so that means these you know more balance will be created because the compression is in the multi stage and more uniform torque you will get more uniform torque so less flywheel size is sufficient with the same pressure ratio so here with the same pressure ratio for single stage compression we are going for larger flywheel size the heavier flywheel size we are going for and here we are going for less flywheel size because we are getting more balance and more uniform torque so these two these are the difference between single stage compression and multi stage compression Thank you very much.